At the Tokyo Motor Show in 2007, Nissan introduced the GTR. It really surprised many motor journalists, customers and also fellow competitors. It really shocked the industry what that car could do at that time. The first generation had 485 horsepower, second generation had 530 horsepower, and the third one 550 horsepower. We're going to try these two first generations and see how it does against its competition. Gustav Super Races shows you the world's fastest cars put against each other in adrenaline filled drag races. Gustav runs a successful YouTube channel with soon over 200 million views a great reputation within the world of racing. In this show, he will present the best races he's ever organized, with rare supercars from Bugatti, Koenigsegg, Ferrari, and other top brands. These races share a unique look with the raw performance of the world's fastest cars. In 2009, the Nissan GTR had 485 horsepower in stock form. We compared it against the Porsche 911 GT2, which has a twin turbo engine and a six-speed manual gearbox. Will this be even race? In late 2008, Lamborghini updated the Gallardo generation. It got 560 horsepower and a new name, the LP564. We matched it against the 485 horsepower Nissan GTR, and the GTR is in for a fight. Fantastiska växlingar här, liksom. man märker, man ja. känner inte ens, det är bara... Nej, det är precis sömlöst växling. Ja. Det... Ja, det... Now we're going to take Jaguar's fastest production car ever built, the Jaguar XKRS Coupe, with its 550 horsepower supercharged V8 and an aluminum chassis mated to a fast automatic gearbox versus standard Nissan GTR. It could be a close race. It's interesting to see how it's going.
Ferrari 458 Italia is a 200,000 plus euro car. The Nissan GTR costs about half of it. The 458 has a 570 horsepower engine V8 and the Nissan has a V6 twin turbo with 485 horsepower. You have to decide here if it's worth the extra money or not. GTR mot 458. Porsche 911 GT3 RS 4.0 will go down as one of the purest Porsches to date. This limited edition GT3 has a 4 liter normally aspirated engine mated to a 6 speed manual gearbox. We will match it against the updated Nissan GTR with 530 horsepower. We will also throw in some rain into this race. This time we're going to race the updated Nissan GTR with 530 horsepower. The GTR is a four-wheel drive car and it will race the two-wheel drive Ferrari 458 Italia with 570 horsepower. In addition to this, it is also raining. Okay. Here we have the Nissan GTR R35 standard, which will race the Lamborghini Gallardo LP550-2 Valentino Balboni. Uh, the Va Valentino Balboni version is a special version of the Gallardo with two-wheel drive instead of four-wheel drive. Uh, 
and it will be interesting to see if the Gallardo can keep up with the GTR both at lower speeds and higher speeds. Okay. Here we have the Nissan GTR V Spec versus uh, Lamborghini Balboni. So this race uh, is uh, maybe one of the most extreme races I've ever had. It's uh, the fastest Nissan GTR I had on my events in Sweden. It's from a tuning shop called AG here in Sweden, uh, which pumps up the power to well over 800, 850 horsepower on the Nissan GTR. It left everything to date at the time. Um, uh, we had visitors from Russia that came with the Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera uh, that had added twin turbo to its V10 engine uh, and bumped up the horsepower to well over 1,500 horsepower. You will see how this Nissan GTR will be left in the dust at really high speeds as well. And uh, that uh, Lamborghini Gallardo from Underground Racing, uh, an American company, came up to speeds to, to well over 300, 330, 340 on GPS on this little short stretch. Incredible performance. GTR, 900 horsepower versus underground racing Gallardo, 550. When the Nissan GTR R35 was brand new, it had 485 horsepower. Uh, we raced it against the standard Ferrari 599 uh, GTB Fiorano, which had a sequential gearbox uh, versus the GTR Superfast double clutch gearbox. Uh, the 599 has uh, 620 horsepower from a normally aspirated V12. Uh, would that be enough to put uh, the GTR in its place?
Here we have the standard Nissan R35 GTR uh, racing the BMW M5 Touring, which is the escape version of the M5. This M5 has a V10 uh, and also Super Sprint headers and exhaust, which increases the horsepower with 40 uh, up to in total 547 horsepower. Uh, it will go well in higher speeds uh, thanks to like RAM air intake and normally aspirated engine of the V10. So we'll do this race two times and see how it goes. <laughs> Touring versus GTR or M5War.com. Kör om. Grym bra start. Ja. Eh. Han vet inte om han missar starten eller vad han gjorde. För vi stack ju... Ja, hela tiden. För... Eller han kom ju aldrig i kapp eller i hastighet. Nej. Men det måste... Ja, vi fick känslan nästan att han inte kom iväg i starten. Nej. För vi, vi fick ju flera... Vi körde för, 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 en gång till. Vi fick ju flera meter. So let's redo this race with the Nissan GTR, which is standard, versus the BMW M5 Touring Super Sprint with headers and exhaust, and in total 547 horsepower, and see if it is as close as it was on the first race. Ja, vi får köra efter dig så filmar jag från GTR också. Men det här är... Det var ju imponerande. Ja, man har inte tänkt så här, de, de som bara matar ifrån här på taxisträckorna, de är så lite sura känns. Ja, exakt. Jag tror jag ska växla ännu senare också. Jag, jag växlar lite för tidigt. Nej, det är precis vi när du ser vi åtta ungefär. För lite senare är riskat att du går i varvstoppet. Ja, ja för då blir det så här blöd och blöd. Ja. Så so we really wanted to put the Nissan GTR stock version in place. So we took the Swedish hypercar, the Koenigsegg CCR Evolution, with 806 horsepower and 400 kilos less weight than a standard GTR and raced it from 50 km per hour all the way to up to well over 300. Uh, the Nissan GTR owner didn't stand a chance. Canixx CCR Evolution versus GTR.
dra ikapp på den Eller bara kör, kör om så vi finner den Gustav Super Races shows you the world's fastest cars put against each other in adrenaline-filled drag races. Gustav runs a successful YouTube channel with soon over 200 million views and a great reputation within the world of racing. In this show, he will present the best races he's ever organized with rare supercars from Bugatti, Koenigsegg, Ferrari, and other top brands. These races share a unique look with the raw performance of the world's fastest cars. <laughs> 